Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a, or I wanted to film a what I eat in a day. And I wanted to make recipes that I just personally really miss from home. Growing up, my grandma would always make a lot of these different comfort Cantonese food. And I just miss it so much. So today I thought I would share with you some of my grandma's recipes. Um, tonight I am having hot pot with my friends, but I want to show you how we do hot pot. And before I jump into this video, I do want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, which is Orate. They they are the jewelry I'm wearing here and I get a lot of questions on where I get my jewelry. I only have a select few brands that I love and Orate is one of them. So I really like this company because they are female founded and they're a fine jewelry company based in New York City. So they have a lot of different styles. They have styles ranging from classic to statement to things that are completely original. So I really love them and I love the quality. I've had their jewelry for like two years now and I wear them all the time. I think that they just go with everything. So the ones I have here, this is just the stackable ring. And then I have this new vintage oval cut ring, which, oh my gosh, this is my new favorite ring. When I first unboxed it, I was like, ah! It's like the perfect ring. I'm just someone that likes vintage styles in general. So when they first launched this line, I was like, oh my God. So the one I have here, this is their vintage oval cut ring. And the stone I have is citrine. Um, and then this one right here, this is their infinity ring. So you can see like you can mix and match them and they just look so pretty and the quality is amazing. And I wanted to talk about them because Valentine's day is just around the corner and I really love their pieces. They're just such amazing quality. Around two years ago was when I decided I will invest in fine jewelry so that it can just last me a lifetime. So yeah, that's what's so exciting about this collection because I think it's just such a beautiful ring for Valentine's Day or for any occasion really. Also, their rings are made of real gold. So you don't have to worry about your finger turning green. I love all their pieces. And what's so awesome about them is that they have a lifetime warranty because they know that's how good their jewelry is. If you're interested and you would like to check them out, you can get 15% off your first order. Their website is Orate New York. York.com. That is A-U-R-A-T-E, New York.com. And one more thing, you can get 15% off your first purchase at oratenewyork.com slash Whaley by using my coupon code Whaley at checkout. So I'll put all the information down below if you want to check them out. And yeah, now let's just get to cooking. For breakfast today, I wanted to make a macaroni soup. So usually my grandma would make this with chicken broth, um, but if you want to have it vegetarian, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to use mushroom broth and it's so simple. I mean, my grandma used to put spam in it, but since I don't eat spam, um, I'm just going to have it with carrots. all of it I think like a year ago and I'm watching it again it's so good and there's English subtitles on YouTube Okay. 
So for lunch today, I'm going to make jing sui dan, gan yu chu jing sui dan, which is dried scallops steamed egg. And this is something my grandma used to make all the time. It's one of my favorite dishes and this is my first time making it. So wish me luck. So she makes it super, super smooth. And if you've ever had a steam egg, especially the Cantonese style, you know, it's a good one when you can get the texture of it really, really smooth. It really is like a skill to make it nice and smooth. So we'll see how it goes today. Um, so I'm just going to take one egg. So here I have some dried scallops. For one egg, about half a bowl of water. And if you're doing two eggs, you'll use a full bowl of water. So we're just going to pour that in there. Grandma suggests two eggs. Pinch the scallops. That way you get like little bits of scallops in every bite. And if you get the dried ones, make sure you soak them in water so that they soften before cooking them. All right, now I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna take some cling wrap or saran wrap and you're gonna wrap this before you steam it. If you don't wrap it, there's just a higher chance of it getting bubbly. So if you're a newbie like me, then you wanna use this. I just learned this today, but apparently you could steam plastic wrap. Because when she said steam the plastic wrap, I was like, what? But apparently you can. Ah, uh, my plastic wrap won't stay down. Okay. It was in for a total of about five or six minutes. I feel like that should be enough. Okay, so this is what my family likes to do. You don't have to do this part, um, but growing up my grandma would always put a little bit of soy sauce. So I just drizzle it on top and that's it. Okay, bye bye. 